Okay, super quick video. How do you get the wavelengths of different harmonics on a string? All right, let's say I have a string. Here it is. It's clamped at both ends. And let's say it's vibrating in the fundamental or the first harmonic mode. That means, if you remember, it's vibrating in a very particular way, straight up and straight down. The whole string is just going up and down together. All right, let's say my string, I know, is 0.8 meters. Well, now using that information, I can figure out the wavelength of this vibration. It's very important the wavelength of this vibration is not 0.8 meters, that's how long the string is. We have to do one more step to get the wavelength, and that is really how long the string is to how many waves are on the string. When you look at this, you'll notice that there's one bump, and if you remember, one bump is a half wavelength. So we need to say that the length of the string in this case supports a half of a wavelength. Now we can plug in 0.8 meters is one half lambda, and so lambda is 2 times 0.18, but sorry, 0.8, which is 1.6 meters. So for the first harmonic, the wavelength on this particular string is 1.6 meters. Let's say it's the same string, but we were looking at the, um, I don't know, the fourth harmonic. That's a different harmonic. Remember, in the fourth harmonic, it's vibrating four times as quick. And the fourth harmonic is the one that has four bumps. Okay, same string. The length of the string is 0.8 meters. Again, the length of the string is not the same as the wavelength. This is the fourth harmonic, and I want to know what's the wavelength here. Well, again, probably the easiest way to do it is to count how many waves are on the string and then make a relationship and solve for the, the wavelength. So in this case, you could see four bumps is equal to two full waves. So I have that the length of the string in the fourth harmonic is supporting two wavelengths. Now the length of the string hasn't changed from 0.8 meters, but what that tells me is the wavelength is now 0.4 meters. And we can see that pretty clearly here because one wave takes up half of the string. That's how you figure out the wavelength for different harmonics on a string.